Hey YouTube, thanks for tuning in. We have a special treat for you today. We're going to be disassembling the new, at the time of this video anyways, unreleased Galaxy S6. You'll notice that we already broke the display when we tried to take it apart the first time, so we won't be able to show you the device on, but if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. First, here's the toolkit we'll be using to disassemble the uh, S6. Uh, look for the link in the description below and we'll only be needing the Phillips head screwdriver for the uh, screws. We'll start by removing the SIM tray. Uh, we used tweezers, but you should really use the SIM tray removal tool. It'll make it easier. As you can see, this is a beautifully built phone, and you also notice there are no visible screws. So we'll need to use our blow dryer to melt the adhesive holding the back of the device together. As usual, don't heat any one side for too long, and you should only apply heat for one to two minutes. Also keep this in mind because you're going to need to do it a couple more times to get the phone completely apart. Now we'll use our suction cup and case opening tool to remove the back of the phone. Be really careful as the back is glass and will shatter if you go too quick. Just carefully slide your case opening tool around the edge of the device and then slowly separate the back cover. Okay, with the back cover off, the first thing you'll notice is that it's screwdriver time. You'll need to get your Phillips head screwdriver out and remove all those screws. Okay, with the screws out, we'll remove the front assembly now, and we'll need to repeat the uh, blow dryer trick again. So just uh, repeat the steps from before. Before you start pulling away the front assembly, we definitely recommend you pulling up the wireless charging coil so that you don't damage it while pulling everything apart. You want to be very careful with the case opening tool so that you don't damage anything, but once the adhesive is separated, the two halves come apart fairly easily. Alright, from here the first thing we want to do is remove the power button from the midframe. Just gently pull it up with your tweezers.
get hurt. Next, we're going to remove the volume buttons, and be careful as the actual buttons will fall out as soon as you remove the flex cable. Next we're going to remove the uh, wireless charger, and as you can see this flex cable goes up and around the uh, camera opening, but we'll start from the back and just pull up on this tab here and carefully lift up the coil and the flex cables. Now, before we started recording this video, we tried to remove the speaker, but it's stuck in there really good, and we were really unable to remove it without risk of damaging anything else or breaking anything. Well, moving on, we're gonna go to the main board and just disconnect all the flex cables first. This flex cable here is for the soft keys on the front of the device. Now with those disconnected, we can remove the uh, mainboard and just carefully lift it up. On the back of the mainboard, there's also one last flex cable for the USB charging port. Don't forget to disconnect this before fully removing the mainboard. Okay, there isn't too much for us to remove from the main board, so we'll get back to that later. Now, we'll use our spudger tool to uh, gently remove the battery.
you want to slide your spudger under the battery nearly to the middle and then just gently pry up the battery. Now we'll remove the front camera and then the proximity sensor and ear speaker. Then we'll remove the vibrating motor. Now we'll completely remove the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi antennas by gently pulling them up. Then with our screwdriver, we'll remove the screw holding the USB port in place. Okay, now we can remove the LCM assembly with our blow dryer technique. Alright, be very very careful with your case opening tool because this is where we broke our screen. So you'll need to be extra careful when separating the LCM. With that all separated out, now we can remove the USB charging port. Gently loosen the board and then use your tweezers to remove the two soft key uh, contacts.
Next, we're gonna remove the home button. From the back, you want to use your tweezers to pull up the flex cable. Then you want to pull up the home button and slide the flex cable through that little hole. Now back to the main board, let's remove the back camera. Just use your case opening tool to disconnect the flex, then uh, gently pop the camera from the board. Alright, and with that, we've completely disassembled the uh, Samsung Galaxy S6. If you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave those below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out our site for more.